Happy Halloween, everybody, and welcome back to Zombies, Movies, and More. I'm your host, Mike Schilling, and today we are going to talk about the horror thriller slasher movie Halloween 2018. The franchise has finally brought back a solid movie for us to watch. Uh, I did see it uh, premiere weekend. I know it's been a little bit since we're getting the review out, but here we go. I don't want to get into too many spoilers. I just want to tell you pretty much why you should go and see this movie. And as a huge fan I am, of all of the Halloween movies, um, I mean, minus a few. There's a few things, you know, obviously in their convoluted uh, set of movies, but all the same, they did a really solid job. And so let's talk about first the intensity and the feeling of the movie. So this one was definitely on par, unlike other ones like Halloween Resurrection, and um, I even fair to say even Halloween H2O, although I liked H2O, the, the, uh, the Michael Myers, I just never really fully got into his style or whatever, but the mask was creepy as hell, um, and that's kind of part of the way they start off this movie. Not any really spoilers here, it's just basically these two um, V blogger peoples, whatever, come in, and they want Michael to try and say something to them so they can see what's on his mind is he still thinking about Lori you know what set him off so many years ago but we all know Michael's not gonna say shit to these guys right and but all the same this guy pulls out his original mask and says Michael do you see this you know and he goes what do you feel when you see this and you're just like oh isn't this just the worst idea of all ideas and it you could see in Michael he starts tensing up and that rage I guess gets reignited within him and anyways, the movie just kind of just flies off from there. So it's a pretty intense beginning of just dialogue, really. Nothing much else going on, but it's pretty good all the same. And then as you move through, they have the awesome beginning where they still have the pumpkin intro. Going back to that, again, bringing those nods back to the old 1978 uh, original and then the 1981 Halloween 2 when they're at the hospital. So, and that's another thing I want to mention here is the, the cool nods that they did do along the way. So, in case you didn't know much about this movie in general, Halloween 2018 has basically negated everything after the first movie. So when um, Loomis shot Michael off of the Doyle house in the balcony or whatever, it's basically picking up after I guess Michael was apprehended and then he's been incarcerated all these years. And so the, the hospital, uh, so the original number two, don't even talk about Season of the Witch number three, which didn't even matter. Uh, four or five with Jamie Lloyd, uh, Daniel Harris's character. Anyways, you just keep going through it. Even H2O, none of them matter. So that did kind of, per uh, you know, kind of I, uh, get on my nerves a little bit about this because I hate how they just go back and they just try to rewrite history. But I guess when you see how many movies they've done and how many different ways they've tried to take the story due to production and directors and differences and... At least this one, they finally came together and said, no, we're gonna do this. An awesome job to Jamie Lee Curtis. She did a phenomenal job in this movie, bringing a strong and empowered um, Laurie Strode, but also a broken one as well. Having to live with the thought that Michael could be at her back at any moment. And this is instilled into her life and also to her family. And you see what's what's going on around that as well. And once Michael, and obviously he's gonna get out, right? I'm not gonna talk about how he's gonna do it, but the way he's doing it and the way he takes these people out, the intensity is just so awesome. And it's, sometimes they don't even have to show fully what he's doing. You just know, well, Michael was there and they didn't stand a chance. They also do awesome nods back to, um, I, I don't think this is spoiling too much, but like uh, Mr. and Mrs. Elrod. So in, um, I think it was Halloween 2, 1981, that was where a couple of the neighbors, so there's a scene that kind of involves what he believes to be Mr. Elrod. Uh, there's some also cool nods about, remember the two dorky cops back in Halloween 5? They they were just total jerkwas. They just didn't know anything about police work or whatever, and they end up getting killed at uh, the party and it's set in Halloween 5. But all the same, there's like, two officers in this one. And it's, it's just these little nuances here and there that they just kind of threw back uh, as giving respect, I guess, to some of the other films. And I thought that was super cool. Uh, the soundtrack, you're gonna love it. John Carpenter's come back to score this baby. And again, it just keeps bringing that intensity. The little, just little three and four second little da -da -da, as it comes in, and oh man, you're just you're feeling it totally. So uh, it, the movie is quite a ride. It shows uh, obviously a story about Lori, and um, and the survival that what she's been doing to prepare prepare for Michael, and um, and what happens when he finally shows up and how this is gonna affect her and her family. So, guys, this was an amazing movie. I'm gonna give this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Uh, as I rank these, this is definitely gonna topple over some of the original ones that I've come to love over all these years. Uh, I think number one is still my favorite, the 1978 version. 
but um, but this one is definitely made its way to the ranks. So if you haven't had a chance yet, this thing is still, I think, top of the box office even after the second week. It's an awesome movie. Definitely go see it if you love the thriller slasher. If you're wondering about gore, I mean, I couldn't believe it. There are actually people bringing their kids into this thing. I mean, kids as young as probably 10, maybe even eight years old. I could not believe that. There's no way I would take my kids to see this. It's just, it's too much. They shouldn't be taking all that kind of stuff in their head, but all the same. The gore is a little bit more increased, I would say, than the standard original movies, like one and two. Um, but I, obviously, you know, in these days, they want to make sure that they're bringing a certain level of gore because that's what people like. So with that said, that is my score for Halloween 2018. Quick review. I hope you guys get a chance out to see it. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and make sure to get out on our channel. We have a lot of other cool stuff. Uh, check out our Dead Nightmare Zombies series. We just released episode six and uh, it's a sinister uh, plot in this episode. And if you haven't had a chance, you can go back and check out the other episodes as well. So until the next time, I'm going to end up ranking the Halloween movie. So I'll catch you at the next review. See ya.